Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Sat Society. If you are here, that means you probably watched part one of my haul from Windows and Marshalls this past month. And if you haven't, I highly recommend that you do that first. This video is going to be part two of my haul. This video is going to showcase some of the more high-end brands that I purchased from Winners and Marshalls. So if you are interested, keep on watching. One of the brands that I was really excited to see making a reappearance at Winners and Marshalls was Marc Jacobs. I have been on the hunt for Marc Jacobs product for months now, ever since I saw nail polish being carried at Winners and Marshalls. Sadly, I haven't spotted any nail polish from them, but I did purchase a bunch of lip products from them. All of the lip products were only $12.99, which I think is a great price for something from the brand Marc Jacobs. I got two Lamarck lip creams in the shade Magenta and Clara. This is the packaging, and it's super sleek, and it's got the magnetic closure, which you guys know I like. And this is what the shade Magenta looks like. And then I also got Clara, which is a more of a brighter fuchsia pink color. The rest of these are all Kiss Pop lip color sticks. This is what the package looks like. So it kind of looks like a crayon. And you open it up and here's the lipstick. And it's basically just a twist top. The shades I got were Paparazzi Pop Pow, Wham, Heartbreaker, and Headliner. I'm not going to swatch all of these products because I am thinking of doing a little giveaway for you guys in the near future. So I want to keep some of these products available to put in the giveaway. But let's at least swatch a couple of them. Let's go ahead and swatch Paparazzi and see what this one looks like. Ooh, it's a very nice creamy lipstick. Let's also swatch the color Heartbreaker. They're super creamy, which I really, really like. For $19.99, I got two of the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Supercharged Foundations, and I got the shades Beige Medium and Beige Light. This is what the bottle looks like, and it's your typical sleek, sexy Marc Jacobs packaging. It's a pump format, and the bottle here has a very nice frosted glass look. For $14.99, I got one of the Marc Jacobs Remedy Concealer Pens in the shade Bright Idea, which I think is probably a bit too pink tone for me, so I might end up returning this one. But this is what the concealer pen looks like. It's got a metal tip applicator. And then all you do is push the button here to pump the product out onto this end. If you follow me on Instagram, which I recommend you do because I do come across so many amazing things during my hunts around Winners and Marshalls, you will know that I picked up the Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette in the shade The Tease. This one was $24.99. This product comes in its own little pouch here, and this is what the palette looks like. All you do is push this button to open it up. I'm definitely on the hunt for more of these, so if you do live in Toronto and see more of these, please do give me a shout. Now let's show you some of the things I got from the brand Christian Dior. I got one Dior Show Fusion Mono for $24.99 in the shade Adventure. The product comes in a little jar like this and it also has a little tiny, tiny brush that you can use to apply the shadow on. Here's a close-up of the eyeshadow itself. There's a swatch of the product on my finger. And let's see how this one looks. Okay. I like this color. It's a glittery, kind of dark gray, not quite black color. For $24.99, I got one of the Dior Attic Ultra Glosses, and this one is in the shade Sequins. So it looks like this. It's a very nice pinkish color that has some shimmer in it. And... Ooh, right 
So the applicator is a tiny, tiny brush. Uh, let's see how this one looks. It's a very nice pink with little sparkles in it. And there's no scent to it, which is great because some of the high-end products usually like to put some sort of scent in their lip products. I got one Dior nail polish. This one was $19.99 and the shade is named Incognito. This one here is in very nice neutral pink tone. The only thing I got from Chanel this month is this lip liner pencil in a rose color. And this one is double ended. It has a brush on one end. And then the other end is the lip pencil. And let's see what this one looks like. The set also included a sharpener for the lip pencil. I picked up my very first Sisley product and this is the Phyto Ombre Eclat Long Lasting Eyeshadow with Botanical Extracts. This one was $29.99 and in the shade Burgundy. This is what the little packaging for the eyeshadow looks like. And then you open it up and it does have a little brush applicator. Let's quickly do a swatch of the shade, which is burgundy. Which is a very nice fall appropriate plum color. I picked up a few things from the brand Gucci this month. Let's first start off with a Gucci Eye Magnetic Color Shadow Mono and this one is in the shade Anthracite. This one was $24.99. And yes, the packaging is super gorgeous. There is the Gucci pattern on the eyeshadow. Don't really want to dip my fingers into this to ruin the pattern, but for you guys, I will do it. Once again, this is in the shade Anthracite. I got one Infinite Precision Liner, which is a gel liner, and this one was $19.99. Here's the packaging, and it comes in a nice jar. And this is what the inside looks like. Haven't tried this one obviously, so I'm not sure how this performs, but we shall see. For nail polish, I got two shades from Gucci for $19.99 each. The first one here is Rosette. Super pretty pink color, pale pink color actually. Isn't this packaging gorgeous? You can see here, it has the Gucci monogram here. And the Gucci logo at the top. And then the other shade I got was Ardor, which is a nice red. I think this would be great for summertime. Finally, let's end off with Burberry. I literally hit the jackpot for Burberry products this month. Let's first start off with this Burberry eye brush that I got for only $19.99 and this one is the eye brush number 11. Comes in its own nice little velvet pouch. And this is what the eye brush looks like. And on the brush handle here, it does have the Burberry etched in there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's very soft to the touch. For $29.99, I got the Gold Glow Fragrance Luminizing Powder. This is what I mean when some high-end brands usually like to add some sort of scent to their products. Which isn't great for those who are sensitive to scents, but oh well. They kind of want to add some sort of luxurious part to the product. This item also comes in its own little pouch. And it has a brush included as well, which is very nice. It's a very flat brush that would be pretty easy to use for highlighting. 
Here we have the packaging. It's a gold color to match the gold glow theme. And it's got the Burberry pattern etched onto it. This is what the powder looks like and it's got my Burberry printed on there. So it's not a very shimmery shade. Not sure if you'll be able to see much in my swatch. Maybe you can kind of see that, but yeah, it's very faint. I got one fresh glow blush in the shade Pink Peony. This one was $24.99 and it comes in a little stick format. Like so, let's remove the top here. And you twist the product up. And let's see how this one applies. Hmm, color payoff isn't very strong at all. What the heck? I'm like literally trying to smear this on. The heck, there was like nothing on here. Well, like barely anything. Okay, there's no scent. Can't help it but smell everything that I get. What the heck? Well, this is kind of disappointing because we're $24.99. I'm, I'm expecting something that's a bit more pigmented than this. I don't know, maybe I will try it on my face to see if the results are any different, but... Okay, I can kind of see some color. Might be hard to pick up on camera, but... But seriously, who has time in the morning to spend five minutes alone just applying this blush on your cheeks to get some color on there? Ugh. Not super impressed with this product, but I will give it another shot. And we've come to the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm going to show you guys all the Burberry polishes I hauled, which are in these two bags. Ooh. So here is my stash, and each of these were $12.99, which I think is actually a reasonable price for a brand like Burberry. The ones I showed earlier from Dior and Gucci were $19.99 each. And they're actually only 2 millimeters more than the ones in the Burberry polishes. I'm not going to go through every single shade one by one and bore you guys, but I will show you some of my favorites. Uh, let's start off with this gold one here in the shade Festive Gold. And it even comes with a gold top bottle. Here we have a close-up of it. And then I also really like the shade Imperial Blue. This one actually when it's painted on it looks more like a cobalt blue shade. I also really like the shade Bright Coral Red. I think this one would be great in the summer on the toes. All these polishes come with the Burberry logo etched onto the lid here and then you just open this and this is what the bottle is shaped like. I'll quickly show you what the brush tip also looks like. It's decently wide enough to give you pretty good strokes. Now that I've got my nail charts, I will paint on an example of each of these shades and show you all the ones that I scored this month. Alright guys, we've come to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing all the goodies I hauled from March. It's definitely super thrilling to go into Winners and Marshalls each time to see what new stock they have. 
Please like this video and subscribe to me if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.